It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a little Alfredo La Pinza Nduju spicy pepperoni and mozzarella pizza to show you. Goes in the oven for between 10 and 12 minutes. For me, that's gas mark seven. Uh, for you people with lovely fan assisted ovens, that's 225 degrees or 200 degrees. Fan assisted 200 degrees, regular oven 225. Uh, I've had some comments on this because I did the regular pepperoni la pinza from Lidl and many of you said try the Nduju one, it's really really good. So I went and picked it up on your recommendation. So let's have a look at it then. Here is the pizza. I'm surprised mind you, I have preheated the oven. It is preheated on gas mark 7 but I'm surprised such a thick pizza cooks between 10 and 12 minutes. Okay, lots of ice, almost as if my freeze has broken down and then refroze the pizza. I hope not. <laughs> but anyway, there's the enduju, there's that spiced pepperoni. It looks really nice. Uh, it looks like there's some kind of lentil on there as well. Uh, pepperoni, a little bit of kind of, maybe, is there tomato sauce? Maybe some tomato sauce. The bits of green stuff are, uh, blimmin' eh? Uh, it says spices. Okay, well, we'll get that later on. I'll have a read of that whilst it's in, in the oven. So I'm gonna get this in now for the next 10 to probably 15 minutes and uh, we'll see what we get. Now what I will say, I'm going to tip it to one side. All of that water, maybe it was my freezer. I don't know if this is fat or, let me just, yeah, it looks, right, it, okay. It looked like water, but tipping it on its edge here, it's actually oil. It was likely to be oil, but it just, yeah, for some reason it looked very watery. It's not, thankfully. Uh, the, pre the pizza was £1.50. I think it's an absolute bargain for that. Right, slicing it up. There we go, nice bits of kind of mozzarella going on. The pizza itself looks really good. It was more than, it definitely was more than 12 minutes. It was more like 20 minutes in my oven. Um, I don't want a sloppy pizza. I don't want a damp soggy mess of pizza i always like my pizza slightly crispy i like the the crust to be on the little bit of a tough side i prefer it cooked than uncooked so i gave it 20 minutes right let's get into this then it's got a garlic sauce base definitely It's slightly oily. The base of the pizza is terrific. It's really tasty. It's got a real nice Mediterranean feel about it. I've traveled around lots of different countries, eating lots of different pizzas and I can tell you, a pizza with a base like this just have, has a certain level of kind of authentic, authenticity about it, a Mediterranean feel about it. Eating some of that Nduju pepperoni then. A little, I've used the word spicy. Yeah, there's a nice spiciness to it. It kind of catches the back of your throat. 
You buy in a spicy pizza, you want it to be slightly spicy, don't you? Mmm. But I like the base. I mean, this slice here, this is the one. This is the one we should be picking up and looking at. This is the one with all of that lovely andouju pepperoni on it. Mmm. <coughs> a lovely, a lovely kick of spice on this. Mmm. Very good. The outside piece, that slice there was all about the crust. This is definitely all about that mozzarella, the induju, the spices, the flavours, the, the cheese, the mozzarella is terrific. Mmm. It's an unusual style pizza, to be honest with you. Um, sometimes these thick pizzas, they can be a bit too much. But it tastes a little bit like French bread. It tastes a little bit like those French Findus French bread pizzas from years ago. A lovely crispy kind of outer bready layer then mozzarella spice some herbs mm. it's good it's very good <clears throat> the other thing i wanted to mention was keeps its heat well. A pizza with a big, big bready base to it is going to hold the, it's going to hold more, more of that heat, it's going to stay warmer longer. You're not going to end up with a cold pizza. Mm. It's good, it's tasty, it's interesting. Would I buy it again? Well, actually, I do a lot of shopping in Lidl. If I seen this again, yeah, why not? Absolutely, why not? I'd definitely buy this again. If you've got an air fryer big enough, you may want to see if you can put it in your air fryer. That, I think, would make it like an ultimate and do you style pizza. But it's definitely got a, a sort of a garlic sauce taste to it at the same time. Like they've added some garlic olive oil or something along those lines. So it's rosemary. The little bits of green earlier on was, I found it now, is rosemary. Oh, or garlic sprouts. It's either rosemary or garlic sprouts. Probably garlic sprouts. A really tasty, satisfying pizza from Little Len. I like that enough to give it a stone of crows. 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.